Member for Sandringham on a question. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Can the Treasurer confirm that each and every day this year, Victorian taxpayers are forking out $10.6 million in interest payments to service the Andrews government's record debt? Treasurer. Mate, you couldn't build an argument. Order. You couldn't build an Order. argument. Order. Line of project, Order. Mate. Order. 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 Ask members so. at the table to cease interjecting. Treasurer, in silence. I thank the member for his question, and I, uh, I'm congratulating him on his new glasses. They look very, uh, <laughs> very accountant-like. I might say. Uh, might, might I say that? Whilst uh, the member uh, is part of an opposition that uh, didn't find voice to express concern about a former federal government that managed to increase uh, national debt to one trillion dollars or forty thousand dollars per head of the population of this nation, they seem to have pulled out the glasses and found the outrage that they're going to puff themselves up to. Well, Victoria's uh, interest costs as a share of total revenue average six point five per cent over the next four years, well below, well below levels that we saw in the early 1990s when those opposite uh, last Order. occupied government benches. Uh, Victoria's net debt is dwarfed by the Commonwealth's net debt and, of course, some uh, our investment, our investment has been in Victorians. Our investment has been in growth, and our investment has demonstrated the value of uh, growing an economy to ensure that debt becomes increasingly manageable. It's a strategy that's working. It's a strategy that is leading the nation in growth. It is a strategy that is putting Victorians back to work in numbers stronger than any other state in the nation. That strategy has demonstrated its worth because we put the people of Victoria, their household budgets, back into uh, the priority that they deserve. As a government, we rate their concerns Order. and we've used our balance sheet to look after the interests of Victorians, to ensure that they get the support and assistance of a government that effectively is concerned about making sure that they get through one of the most testing economic times that has confronted this nation. We make no apology for investing in Victorians. We make no apology for prioritising their wellbeing above the wellbeing of our budget. We will manage our budget responsibly, but we will always put the interests of Victorians first. Member for Sandringham on a supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker. By 2025, uh, Victorian taxpayers will be paying $20.4 million each day to service the Andrews government's record debt. Given, given the Treasurer... Order. Order. <laughs> no, that's you guys. Order. Mate, Order. mate, I got it from your papers. If you don't know... Member for Sandringham will ask his question in silence. Given the Treasurer yesterday refused to rule out making GPs pay more taxes than they have previously, will the Treasurer guarantee that Victorians won't face tax increases to pay the interest on Labor's record debt? Good question. Oh, call the Treasurer. Goodness me, I feel like I've been egregiously verbaled by the, uh, by the member. Let me assure the member that he will know all about what our plans to responsibly manage the, the budget of this state at the time that we produce the budget. But can I assure him that our priority will be the well-being of Victorians, making sure that essentially we continue to manage the budget in a responsible way. Of course, I do note that the current Treasurer, uh, Premier of New South Wales has recently indicated that that state is dealing with close to $200 billion worth of debt. He said it would be challenging. He said it would be challenging, of course. But why is that? Because we've come through challenging times together. 
as a nation, we've come through it. Well, those opposite like to decontextualise the the problems that the people of Victoria have have suffered. Let let me assure him, we will constantly, constantly put their interests ahead of short-term budgetary issues.